Hello everybody and welcome to UNM Esports here. We are gearing up for a Call of Duty Vanguard game uh, in the postseason here. UNM versus Southern, Southern Illinois University. This is why I do vocal warm-ups usually. I'm Dieter. I'm Luke. And uh, how you doing uh, tonight? I have not been in a car accident <laughs> in the past 24 hours. I can't say that about our production manager I or... I, it was not a car accident. I was on a motorcycle, and the car that cut me off technically never hit me. I bailed out of that situation uh, before uh, the car hit me, which I still maintain. Try Just try not to get hit by a car. Uh, I chose – I had the option of getting hit by a car or asphalt, and I chose asphalt. <laughs> I, <laughs> let's just say I'm glad you're here to cast Call of Duty tonight with yes. me. Yes. Uh, I drove. I drove my motorcycle home. Like I'm, I'm mostly fine. My mostly knees a little banged, li a little, a little banged up. But that's why you always wear, wear your helmet, wear your gear, all the gear all the time. Uh, exactly. Always it, good to be safe. Yes. Uh, and as soon as you get in your first like minor accident, and you're like, oh, that gear would like actually just saved me from like an ER chip. You're like, okay. Okay. R you respect. Know, I'll anyways, it. anyways, to get back onto topic here, uh, we are in for four games this week in the postseason in a group of four. Uh, us, a Southern Illinois University, mm -hmm. um, Nichols, Nichols in, in the uni duck? in Nichols University, which is a uh, it's like a tier one NCAA school in Louisiana, and then the Oregon Ducks. Which I think is the, uh, I think that's OSU, Oregon State University. I don't think that's. I want to say that's correct. I want to say it's the it's the Ducks. It's it's not. It's the one Beavers. of the Oregon's. It, it's not. It's first the, of all which is why we call it the Oregon Ducks. Um, and here we're up against the Southern Illinois in, uh, University, and they are top five ranked in the nation. Mm. If we go two and one, we're pretty much guaranteed to get out. I believe. Um, so if we lose this one, no big deal. We need to. We do need to win the next two. Otherwise, our postseason ends here, um, and we still end uh, top sixty-four, which is very good. Mm. Um, Quick cut in here. Uh, the Oregon. It's Oregon University. University Oregon of University, Oregon. University of Oregon. Not Oregon State's the Beavers. Oregon State's the Beavers. Got okay. It. I always get those confused. Yeah. Because I don't, really I don't go to Oregon. I don't I've really never care lived that much. Is what I'm gonna say. Yeah, I know. It's much easier to just be like the or. Uh, yeah, go like, oh, which Oregon? The Ducks or the Beavers? And then they say which one, and you're like, okay, cool, cool. I don't, I don't care. No I, offense to our yeah, Oregon no offense viewers, to, but to any of our Oregon viewers, but uh, what I'm saying is I don't care. <laughs> And I'm sure people in Oregon are going to be like, which New Mexico? The Lobos or the Aggies? And we'll say the Lobos. And like, we'll, we'll be say, like, who's we'll, heard of the Aggies? We'll be a little offended, but, like, yeah, I, I, I understand. I understand any any state that has, like, university of state and also, a, like, state. Uh, university. Like, state yeah, university, yeah. right? Like, at, NMSU and UNM is a little bit easier. Right, in, in my There's opinion, but like, just just because it's, it, it's not Oregon State or like Oregon University, mm. um, because we have a lot of vowels, and just like everything. Right, but like, yeah, I, I think mean, it's also it's probably easier because like, we br U N M brands like real hard on like. UNM. Right. They're, and they're a different brand. Like yeah. with Oregon, you don't often see U of yes. O or O of U or whatever, yeah. uh, OSU. Whereas like UNM, no one calls us University of New Mexico. We're UNM and I'm at NMSU, I think they're actually rebranding to like NM State, which, sure, away from NMSU. It's like, Well, I mean, in Arizona, the uh, University of Arizona rebranded to UA, mm. which has pissed off a lot Auburn? of people. Like y UA, like, UA, like University of Auburn. Exactly. <laughs> my, my 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 point being, uh, it's very confusing, and yes. people don't really like it. But rebranding often will help with yes. uh, some issues. And I mean, that's also like the Oregon Ducks. Like everyone just calls them that. Well, we I mean, everyone knows the Oregon Ducks, especially by their logo. That's yeah. their main branding. Because they are Daffy Duck, right? Or is that? I thought they. Were, I thought the Oregon Ducks were Daffy, uh, or not Daffy, uh, Donald. Right? Don't they have Donald Duck as a mascot? 
it looks like Donald Duck, but I don't think they're I think it's legally actually, allowed. I think it actually is Donald Duck because they were formed in like the 50s or something, oh, and okay. they were like, can we use this? And Disney was like, I guess. Like, <laughs> whatever. Because <laughs> yeah. like, pre-1990, Disney like wasn't a corporate overlord? <sighs> pre-1990, like, Disney was a big company, but it wasn't like a... Uh, there were there were fears of it being bought out in the nineties. I think also in the eighties. So like it, it wasn't it wasn't this like untouchable behemoth of industry that it is now, right? It's right. The, uh, it, back in the fifties there was like, oh, it's this like a kinda you know, they Small. made a they made a, they, a made really a they made a couple of movies. Uh, a couple of really big movies, but like not n- nothing uh Nothing where you'd be like, oh, that company's going to be around forever. <laughs> um, mm. Anyways, I don't know why we're talking about I this. I have noticed I also that there is an... One of the players has an important phone call. Let me hear your comms. <laughs> okay. There um, are some uh, technical I difficulties. It's not technical. Here's what <laughs> I'm going to say. In the rules, th- after 15 minutes, they're allowed to take a loss. And all I'm going to say... Is it's been half an hour? Eh? I think after I think it's after half an hour. I could be wrong on this. I know there is a time limit, but after a certain point, the game is just called, and the well, person that's not waiting wins. Yes. Uh, the other thing that I'll say is, um, we have a game to play after this on the CC. So okay, so w- us uh, tonight, uh, we uh, UNM is playing the uh, Southern Illinois University. I have no idea what they who they like what their mascot is, and then we're playing the um, Nichols University uh, Colonials, I think is what they are, um, which is a weird a weird name for a school in Louisiana. Is what like yeah having I, Colonials I've heard um, the Louisiana Purchase, but uh, yeah, well like colon- like I, I would have imagined they would have gone with something else more Louisiana like, but whatever, I don't care. Um, we will be playing them on the CCL stream. After this game, so like CCLB, we CCLB, CCL Bravo, yes, okay. Um, so we we are on a time limit <laughs> here. We do, yeah. Is, is what I'm gonna say now. What what I, the other thing I will say is um, this I was the f- the top five team in the nation. We're probably going to lose in a three zero, and it'll be quick. <laughs> um, right. That being said, that is not the um, point. That's not the point. What I'm saying is we should go. We should at least get g- like two wins on our side <laughs> for them being late and then go to five games and then lose. <laughs> It'll be yes. It, you actually, yeah. That's actually good for us because that if, like, if it gets weird in the group of four and, like, everyone beats everyone else, basically, tie breaks will matter, I assume. I have no idea how the tie breaks work. But getting that five games could be important. So what I'm saying is our team should not have been as polite. That is my official uh, official statement official, to SIU. Uh, S, S, a statement to SIU is our team was too nice. <laughs> we should at least be 1-0 at this point. But Anyways, here we are, we are going into game in. number one. Uh, I think this is Rocket. Yep, that we are watching. Oh, okay, um, I gotta use my left hand. And here we are. Hard points coming out. I. What is this? SIU? Looks like wolves or something. So far, no first blood coming out. Let's see. Who's going to get it? It's Mythic there. Gets first blood. D-Day gets the second. Is Maddie here looking for something? As that's three down real quick for UNM. But UNM were able to get the first two points here. Maddie looking to recapture this. This is a very open. Yeah, not a point. favorable point by many teams. Um, I'm having a hard time working these cameras. All right. Here, SIU is on this point looking for something. Only 17 points here with 20 seconds to go. So UNM not going down that poorly as they are going to be able to pick up some of this points right here as we already see people rotating really quickly over to tanks. Right. SIU in position, but UNM killing. Ooh, Maddie looked at that 360. Did get the no-scope, sort of. As UNM looking to get that last point as two people are here. Dahmer's Rocky and Maddie get one. And UNM here on tanks. Let's see how much they're able to get. Ooh, not much before SA moving in. This is much harder to dislodge people. Maddie knowing right where everyone's going to be. As 
no one is really taking that many points so far. Another very open part of the map. Uh, yeah, Maddie just trying to be just sneaky right here. As soon as Plasmid, Plasmid gets a team kill there with the grenade. UNM holding relatively strong here. Yeah, UNM here trying just something. I think Rocket should have been able to see him because I saw that guy. Uh, well, we also can see through walls. I don't think it was through walls. I think he uh, just walked past him. But anyways, SIU gets uh, the remaining parts of this point. So I think if they want him, there's no real UNM members around. So they'll get the last 10 ish scrap points here but super even game overall as UNM are the next ones to rotate onto this point but two dead already Ooh. here Maddie, Maddie oh, looking oh. for something he's going to just get taken out it's already three here for SIU UNM will have to really do a good dislodge on this point yeah both teams trading um, up and down SIU oh, in a better position Rocket, here he gets one grenade out Trying to get just some amount of contest. This one is a more open point. This entire map is just a lot of open points. Oh no, oh, Rocky gets Rocky one. Rocky gets the wrong one. Solar going down there as well as Maddie was last alive here for UNM. 56 points and counting here for Southern Illinois. UNM's got to find an answer to this. They are getting a bunch here, four in a row. That's going to be UNM getting the rest of these points, evening it up quite a bit, but still trailing by a few. UNM looks like Dahmer's trying to rotate around. Yeah, UNM uh, last looking alive for something. As UNM have been doing a very good job, only what 15 points a difference between these two teams. This is definitely not what I was expecting, and it really feels uh, like UNM doesn't feel like they're winning all that many gunfights. Right, it seems like we're watching them die a lot. Super even, just in points, and I have no idea if that's like SIU seems to just like not be getting points when they can and UNM is just like getting the gunfights when they can getting these dislodges and then just picking up every single point and I think that's going to be something in their favor here solar looking trying to find them he sees D-Day and that's going to be two down there for SIU now UNM contesting the point this one might go to time yeah, here UNM. as no one's on been on these points for particularly long. SIU does extend this lead for by a little bit D-Day on that multi-kill. Ooh, Solar finding him. Finding one. About Maddie. 25 oh, points here do uh, in between these two teams. Rocky gets one. As UNM. no one's on any particular streaks right now, D-Day's still on that three. Oh, and he gets taken out immediately. Ooh. UNM in position on this next point kind of spread quite a bit. Yeah, this one you you spread out a lot because there are just so many sightlines into that like drainage ditch kind of, I think it's called river. I would argue that this is as much of a river as the Rio Grande. Um, I would say that. It's actually less of a river than the Rio Grande, honestly. Um, but UNM there doing a really good job and then just being taken out. Solar did have a streak there. If he does want to use it, UNM this trading back and forth. Both these yeah, teams now very they're down the just gunfight. 40 points here. As UNM looking to just early rotate, maybe maybe trying to get these last scrap points, see what they're able to do. Try keep it more even here. Solar on the point, we'll take it. But let's see what the rotations Ooh, do. Solar gets one. Solar getting those flicks. That should be a good rotate here for UNM. Rocky getting one. Ooh, but taken nice. out. Traded immediately. Not many streaks from well no, either of these is, teams. This is just going to be a this is just a really back and forth gunfighting map. I'm excited to see the search and destroy. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, th with with no respawns, this may be a very different game. Absolutely. So here, UNM still down, only about 25 points here, but that may just come and bite them as only two minutes 40 left here in the game. UNM not play. wanting to play this point. Seems like SIU is trying to make a play for it, but UNM does not want to play very open here. Yes. UNM just keeps, you know, these really good points. They keep having good points, evening up this lead to, like, 20 points, and then the next one just almost goes all the way to SIU. And we're seeing that kind of back and forth where UNM is able to close the gap, but then the next point just goes in the favor of SIU. So here we really want to see UNM get control of tanks and just keep it almost the entire time. 
as much control as they can get. Yeah, 50 seconds up here, SIU, but still not on the on the point. As I was saying earlier, SIU just is allergic to these points almost. It's yeah, UNM is trying their hardest to get on these points. Well, SIU just does not. Like just they're not winning play. these gunfights. What it feels like, SIU definitely up. I want to say in these kills, but. And sure, they are up in points now, 60 seconds above. This is going to be quite difficult for UNM to come back into this game. Not impossible. No, um, absolutely not. But it feels like they should be more, is, is what I'll say, is UNM right. will get the remaining scrap points here, and they'll have to fight hard for the next few points. Definitely going to want a lot of good control. That's a lot of gain. And we've seen that twice already. Matt, Maddie just dying there to that slide in to that one position. UNM are the first this. onto this. Let's see what happens. This one's going to go back and forth a lot, I have to imagine. Right. Three members around and three members from SIU coming in. Ooh, slow moth getting taken out. UNM actually might have a good defense here. Maddie, Rocky, getting all those three kills. get three. And UNM clawing their way back into this game. Let's see what they're able to do. Maddie on this head Ooh. glitch. Got good angle on this house, but UNM doing a really good job. But now, Maddie, one v three. What is he able to do? Only has a pistol. Ooh, but he's got solar there with him. Solar has it. Ooh, stunned. Let's see what he's able to do. Another grenade coming out. Ooh, and that stunned is going to be enough. But now Rocky trying to go in, get some contest. As again, UNM bring just this lead down to 20, 25 points. But it's just That's not going to be enough quite yet. Which, yeah, they still have plenty of points to do it. Absolutely. Uh, 145 on the clock. UNM keeping this much closer than I would have expected against the number five team. Here, Solar looks for something. Ooh, oh, he's almost got him. He did yes. get it. Here, UNM on this hard point just for a little bit of time. Oh, not able to find that. UNM oh, only need about 30 seconds here. They had such a good defend on that last point. Now in Barn, this is usually where UNM just excels. See, Rocky trying to get this I feel high like ground. We've seen a full 60 seconds barn here from UNM once before. It's he's -day. Oh, and he gets taken out. That's three, four dead from UNM. As uh, Southern Illinois Institute, Southern Illinois University here we might need something. Definitely putting more t points on that board. There, this is so many dead in a row here. D Day on that four streak. Looking for the five as Dahmer's trying to stop as UNM just maybe getting a little bit just oh. too much for them as SIU approaches this 200 point. But UNM are first into River. Let's see how much of that they'll be able to get. They need almost the full 60 as D-Day gets the five streak. UNM's got to get these Oh, there we Solar go. Solar gets a good head bag. Mythic and slow-mo gets one. Rocky looking for just some long-range defense here. Slow-mo on the 5x as well. Rocky goes there he is. He's able to stop that streak. Let's see what's happening. And as we see here, SIU has so much control of this entire area, and they're just not on this point. They could be extending this lead to 200 points here. And instead, they're just they're, not yeah, on they're it. They're on it nothing. now. But... Only 10 seconds remain. Maybe they get this these scrap points, and they're not even doing that, even though they know their early rotate's going to come out from UNM. SIU just not playing this they, as efficiently as I think they could be, and now 30 seconds left in the game. UNM down by 62. UNM needs to stay on this point just to stop that timer from going down. UNM needs this full entire control point. And then and some. some. And here, SIU just playing to keep that clock moving down. They don't need the 250. They just need to have more than UNM and 10 seconds to go. They might have it. UNM needs to do something. SIU actually misplaying this pretty bad by keeping this just clock not going. They're still on the point. If they just walk off of it, I think they just win. UNM it's needs to touch, not quite able to do it. Three seconds remain here as UNM, 2.77 seconds. The rotations need to be 
perfect. Oh, one second. 1.1 1 .1 seconds. Actually, impeccable gameplay has to happen from UNM, and that's going to be the game. Oh, very and that's unfortunate. SIU taking game number one. That might be the lowest scoring hard point we've ever seen. That, I don't, I think maybe once. We, we've, we've seen it seen go to time once before, and UNM right. didn't win it. But that was... That was odd because it didn't need to go to time, is how I would say. No, absolutely not. Um, it, yeah, it was – UNM had a decent score comparatively mm -hmm. that SAU did not get the 250. Uh, it was about a 50, 60-point difference there. Um, very good gameplay from both, but SAU just not not playing the objective. Yeah, that was, was, that was odd because it wasn't like – UNM was doing a good job – a lot of the time mm -hmm. from keeping them off the objective, right? right? But they weren't, there was so many, there was at least, I would say there was at least 45 points, which is what they needed to just outright win, mm. where they could have just like gotten that. <laughs> right. And not even had to worry about this like time shenanigans, where like you just go, you just go for the, the win overall. And I, that, that's not to say, uh, well, we're having some okay, there game setup issues. I, like, I don't think it's supposed to be a free for all. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. We're absolutely <laughs> willing to. Uh, <laughs> that would be actually that would actually be a really interesting uh, game mode if they added it, where like you basically, I mean, you you would still do teams. I feel like, right? Right. Like, there's no way that you would be able to stop people from forming teams. I guess it's uh, kind of like, like if you're in voice chat, but it would be one of those like. It, you would have to do it like you, you like you basically like point point systems like you just figure out like which team is the best KDA overall. Well, Wh which would yeah. be like that would be a fun one. I, I don't think you can do that in, in like in the game, right? I, I think pa this past weekend when we did NMAA, think about like the the Mario Kart. Yeah, where you know it was technically a free for all, but yes. there were two teams. So I think that would be that would be interesting, where it's just you know. Who gets the? M you do team deathmatch, right? Yeah, that would be a fun COD, fun fun COD uh, a mode of who gets the most kills in uh, yeah, in three minutes. Well, um, I mean, Halo has that where it's just. You I mean, know, that's the that's the, uh, that's the that's like the the classic Halo mode, right? Yeah, you, um, you, and yeah, it is interesting that COD over the years has opted has never had do, that. Yeah, well, I, I possibly they had it back in like the MLG days. Mm. I'm not totally well known in all that, but. Um, I don't know. It's, yeah, really, it's just odd that they opt for like control over team. Yeah, especially match. because that feels for the type of game that Call of Duty is. Mm. That feels a lot more. Um, it feels more online, rando friendly, right? Yeah. Instead of instead of like the problem that like Overwatch and League of Legends have, where one v nine, like if your team sucks, it's a team game, and that sucks, right? Right. Um, whereas in deathmatch, it's really easy to pop off. Like if you're able to rack up those kills, sure. If your if your team is literally terrible, uh, it can hurt you. But like, I, I don't know. It feels it feels much more. Uh, I want to see that mode next year. <laughs> CCL, uh, call me. Listen, you've got <laughs> Modern Warfare Two coming out. It's gonna be a good it's, year. It yeah. Uh, anyways, here we are on to map number two, Search and Destroy, here on Berlin. Uh, we've seen this fairly often, I think. Uh, I UNM. think this is probably our most seen Search and Destroy. UNM, I think, prefers uh, to s Tuscan. Um, like, I think this is, like, my guess is this is SIU's map pick, just because I think we prefer uh, Tucson or Tuscan yeah. um, over, <laughs> this, over this map. But that's not to say that, like, We've won this map before. We know how to play this map. Right. Everyone plays S and D Berlin. Uh, that's it, it's like two maps. You can play one or the other, and uh, th this is the other. Here, grenades coming out as Maddie just has the bomb, Squid looking for an plant. early A plant. No one Looks seems like to be the wiser. Ooh, that might oh, be and good. And one for one overall. Maddie gets plasmid, but up. Oh, plasmid gets first blood as Maddie goes down. Bomb has not. Bomb has been planted. Bomb has been planted. I wasn't sure if he was able to finish that. But here, 2v3. Solar is the last alive. And everyone's on the wrong side. Solar gets one. 
but that's good information over for SIU. A deep fuse is coming out, and Solar's a long way away. Solar needs to get this he sideline. Let's see what he's able to do. They see him. Oh, Ooh, he, he gets, gets that. That could be huge. The defuse may come out. He has 13 seconds. He has 10 seconds. I think Solar got this. He's got. I don't think there's enough I time on the no, defuse. There isn't. UNM just just gets it. Doesn't actually matter if he wins this or not. The bomb's gonna go off. UNM. Good. Great long sight <laughs> yeah. on that bomb diffuser. That yeah, was UNM great kill just by Solar. Solar knew he was like, well, we know I knew where Maddie put it, so he's probably diffusing it here and just gets the kill. That won him the game. Solar there clutching it out for UNM. Very good play. And I can't remember if this map is defender friendly or, or attacker friendly. I I, I want to say this map is pretty even. Um, I don't think this one's a as a cod map evenly, <laughs> perfectly balanced. Oh, I don't. I won't. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I think it's just not as bad as like Valorant maps. Ooh, Ooh Maddie, Maddie gets a first blood with a nade. That's pretty big. They know. Ooh, Ooh Maddie, Maddie gets, gets two. two. That's pretty big. They actually see the bomb too. They knew what was going on. D Day last alive. One before. We always knew that U and M's a great search and destroy team. And they're I mean, showing it off. U and M here, they see the bomb. Maddie clutching that one out, getting a good nade kill, and then getting the bomb carrier kill. And uh, they just sit here for 49 seconds. Yeah, U and M, uh, do, they're not <laughs> playing recede. They don't want to risk this. They know roughly where he m may be. Well, they know where he is. I think they've corralled him enough uh, that they, they know where D Day is. And like, Dahmers could run in here and rush, but you don't need to do that. Right. Like,. You, you can just sit here and just Check be like, watch. and just be, oh, oh, okay. okay. Well, that's actually good, <laughs> good information. Like in the one before it, you just kind of be like, all right, he has to kill one of us. All right. He killed me. He came from here. That means he's here. Uh, get him. I, yeah, I, like, I don't know what Dahmer's was doing I don't know what, spinning I mean, circles, Dahmer's but. was basically just being bait. Yeah. Uh, and he was just like, Maddie has me in his sight line. If I get killed, Maddie gets the trade. And you're you're perfectly fine with that. Uh UNM up 2-0 here, winning on defense and attack. I like our odds. And as Maddie does. He does yeah, have he, the bomb. Okay. He that was weird. Did. That might that couple of extra seconds might actually have hurt UNM. Yeah, they are not first to this bomb as O Plasma mm. gets first blood. Dahmer's going down. Meh. UNM gonna play it a bit safer now. Ooh. O I, I think Oplasmid saw yeah, him. I think Oplasmid saw him. That's a grenade coming out. Does not hit Maddie, but the bomb has been planted, so that's pretty good for UNM. UNM just needs to play defense now. Yep, let's see. Oh, but Solar's way on the other side of the map. He's looking for sight lines. Looks like he's going for the flank. Oh, let's see what he's able to do. Slow mo up there in that top. Oh, he gets seen. Oh. And Rocky is going to be the last alive. Let's see what he's able to do. Not able to do it. That's going to be a defuse coming out from SIU going on the board. Unfortunate, but yeah, Dahmer's getting caught out immediately, having first blood go to SIU. Definitely unfortunate. Um, but you know, UNM still up up by one. Yeah, and still have some momentum here. Absolutely. This is much more of what I was expecting, especially after game number one, where everything was super back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it, I was not expecting UNM to go 6 0, is what I'm going to no, say. No, no. Uh, I, I was actually a little surprised when UNM went up 2 0. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was yeah. really expecting this to be like a 1 1 1 1 kind, we, of, yeah, kind we, of deal. We've seen it before where. Like where defenders attack are just always wins, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I really like how UNM has one already on defense and attack. Um, that bodes well for us. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, UNM here. Not actually expecting sure what we're feed. doing is slow mo gets first blood once again, but Rocky kills Mythic. Three dead here on the side of UNM as Solar needs to clutch it out. He does not have the bomb. Importantly, he'll need to push into bomb site A. He sees one. He gets one. It's one. Yeah, he's Solar back off. has Kilo. a minute to work with. He sees D-Day. Ooh, he knows where one is. Oh, he's on defuse. Sorry. You and I'm here on defense. That is bomb coming out. Solar, what can you do? He sees one. He gets one. Gets one. He sees another. Oh, this might be big. What is he able to do? He needs to heal up. He's getting it. He's looking for the flick. Oh, but he might just get the defuse. Oh. He's going to know he's defusing. But I think he got it. UNM 
with. The Do they get it? Bomb defuse. Alpha. Bomb defuse. U and M in like a quarter second. Go up three one. That was the closest <laughs> Call of Duty I've ever seen in my life. I, I think I lost breath there for a second. <laughs> that, I, I mean, I will. I, I don't want to flame Solar, but I think he could have been a little bit more into the bomb right there uh, to really get rid of that sight line. Um, but also, like, what was what was that sight line from like Southern Illinois? That was weird. But anyways, Solar in the three v one clutched it out here. Mythic. Showing where he is, but that's D-Day first blood on Maddie. The bomb carry is now out in the open. UNM needs to do something. Solar does see Mythic, or at least knows where he is. Uh, so we'll have to see. He knows. I think Maddie gave him the comm that he's in there. Ooh, Dommers Dommers gets one. one. Here, three v three. Because UNM do need to go out in the open there for that bomb. They do not want to. For long range, the solar, solar gets the headshot. Mythic probably knows oh, where Solar the, is now. They get the bomb, though. That's super important. They can just go into B. Here, they probably know that someone's in there. Rocky doesn't really want to <laughs> go in. He needs to win the flick. Throw a grenade. Oh, do not walk onto Let's that. Let's see. Oh, Ooh, Dahmer's Mo gets last it. alive here. UNM should just get this plant. Yep, 3v1 There's here one for UNM. one more here. As UNM bringing this one to 4-1. to one, And as it is a... First to six. Okay, well, there is still the, the it's possibility not four to one clutch. Yet, but I, I forgot that the bomb didn't immediately explode. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a one before. Slow-mo, we've seen him get these first bloods a lot of the time. Or at O Plasma also getting there. Slow-mo, eh, Dahmer's not going to eh, get that kill. Rocky gets the finish. Perfectly fine. There we go. UNM here four to one is in this first six. I was not expecting this. This is a... Oh, that's a little okay. No, that's actually a pretty good flick. It was yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had to get the call first yeah. from Dahmer's, and then <laughs> you know, you and him. Uh, you actually <laughs> the, the the cool thing that in that death cam that we saw or in that kill cam was like he he was expecting where uh, slow mo was ca coming out, and then immediately like right onto his model, um, and it really just shows like how good these guys are. Yeah, that I can't do that. Um, Oh, it's T-Day. He's Goes, got that sniper. Gets Solar right there. Dahmer is looking to do the same thing here. As Rocket gets one. Oh, he goes down. Slow-mo has the bomb. Maddie gets one. Gets one. That could oh, be big. He sees two. He sees the other one. I think he scared him off. Yeah, yeah he, he scared, scared him off the off plant. The but now both of them know where one is. They don't know where the other is. So they're trying to play this one a little defensively. 2v2. UNM still has, in position. Has, uh, has a lot to work with here. And D-Day, the sniper is still in the back, playing very far. So if UNM is able to find slow-mo, they may have a good chance here. Yeah, slow-mo here, or D-Day here, looking for something. A slow-mo, I think, is going for the rotate onto B would be my guess because he has the sniper's sight lines just uh, yeah, it looks making, like making sure where he is. Let's see what Dahmer is, is going to be able to do here. Maddie just scoped in. Pretty much anticipating this, I think. Right. Oh, maybe not this line exactly. Ooh, this one might be a little bit dangerous here for UNM. Two into bombsite B as UNM just don't kind of caught unaware here. Ooh, but they now know. Maddie in possibly a bad situation. Yeah, Maddie needs to check his corners. Let's see what he's able to do. Ooh, Ooh that was dangerous. He tries oh, to get one, but Dahmer's last alive. He gets one. Was he able to get the other? Gets. He sees him. He's, looks for it. Can he get it? Oh, oh not so quite close. able to win that flick. Yeah, yeah, I think it came down to one having an AR, one having an SMG. Yeah. The SMG, yeah, being a little bit better in uh, the a little range. bit better. Unfortunate there, but UNM keeping it close, even in these losses. Usually we'll see it go down to a, a three to one. I think very rarely we'll see a two to two. Yeah, two, two to two, two is is actually pretty rare, which is kind of surprising. But it was I feel like the three v three is also pretty rare. Right. It's usually it's two down at least. Yeah. So here, let's see what's going to happen. Is Maddie actually looking for this B push? I think they see Mythic. Ooh, he 
hit one with a grenade there. Oh, but now I think they're just throwing grenades, trying to, you know, be like, oh, haha, -ha, we're on B, or are we? Right, I think they, they hit a couple, they see a couple oh, around B. But they, they, I think Maddie should have seen that a grenade coming out. Not they going to get the kill, but it is a good plant here as UNM with the good rotations across the map. Still, no one died yet. Here's Solar going into that gunfight. He gets Ooh. one. That's pretty big, Solar. Ooh. He does go down for it. Dahmer gets one. one. He sees the other, has the pistol, Ooh, he gets and he it with gets the pistol. it. UNM 3v1 has the bomb planted. 20 seconds to defend. They just got to play oh, just like 12 seconds slow. now. What can D-Day do? It's not looking like much here. It's UNM. They just need to stall for another two seconds. They got Boy, it. They, they, they got see where this he is. one. Not enough time to defuse as UNM go up 5-2. to two. Match point here for UNM. <laughs> Matty, I saw the bomb hit him, but he wasn't able to find yeah, it. Yeah, it actually could be pretty big. That was That is the 5x for D-Day. Yeah. No. But either way, match point here for UNM, wanting to bring the series to a one-to-one. -one. And I mean, it's looking good. And all I'm know. saying is if UNM was less nice, we could be in a 2-1 uh, two, two situation here going into map, num or map number four, I guess that would be. I don't actually know how that works. But either way, that can't happen anymore. UNM Boom. on match point. Let's Solar see. looking. Solar looking for D-Day there. Trying not no to lose to that sniper again. Let's see. UNM trying. A little bit of gunfights coming out. Rocket Rocky fighting. in a 2v1. I didn't know that that was destructible. There's a lot of very destructible Ooh, But Maddie gets D-Day. That could be big. Rocket still in this 2v1. Sees one. Maddie Should be here calling out that they're all on A. Ooh, Ooh Maddie getting goes down. This could be big. They have the bomb. Oh, Slow Mo is probably going to kill Maddie right here. And Maddie but he is, but he's the last alive. Doesn't matter. Dahmer's looking here for just the kill. Yeah, he sees Slow Mo. That's going to be pretty Ooh, he big stun. here. He's going for the high ground, making tree. I mean, he's basically just saying, all right, we know where he is. Uh, just like by 30 seconds. Right. And now Dahmer has a great sight line to block him. Yeah, and here UNM looking to win game number two. Dahmer we sees slow-mo. He's he able to take him. him out. UNM win game number two, bringing the match to one-to-one. -to -one. This has been a very, very tight game. Absolutely. But UNM with a rather are dominant we, performance. Are we sure that SIU is, is top five? Everything I've heard. Uh, that That's not like trying to be flaming towards them, but like. What rank are we? That that's more of we're on we're not in the top twenty five, so and that's the that's where they cut off. Um, no one ranks above twenty five, so we could be twenty six. But like, well, for our know? reference, yes. we're twenty six. Yes, we're twenty six, of course. But like, when we played Arizona, I think it was. ASU. Who, it, we played someone who was like tenth ranked. I want to say, and we got blown out. <laughs> Did it happen um, to be GC? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so it was. Uh, the, I, the only, the only like blowout. I, I remember we also played like seven, and that was the. I, if you remember the game that we got like out, out macroed basically. Right. That was like number seven. I think I believe that was um, Texas State. I think State. that was Texas State, yeah. That was awesome. Uh, that, that, that was a very entertaining that was a really game cool and, like, game. a learning yeah. experience. Um, but, like, I was expecting – I was expecting us to lose this <laughs> as I predicted the quick 3 <laughs> against us. Because, <laughs> like, multiple <laughs> times. I, I honestly – I, like – I think you need to say that more often. Because – because we only need, like, here's what I was expecting from this group. The number five seed gets first. The three of us remaining fight first for a second to get out, to get into the group of 32, right? Mm -hmm. And I was expecting, uh, like, if we win this, we're set. Right. Like, it is so much easier if we win this, we beat the number five guy. Like, they're now scrambling to get wins. And we're just like, we need to win one. 
Because you really right. only need to go 2-1 to get out. Um, we would prefer to go 3-0. If we go 3-0, we get a much, much better opponent into our bracket. Yes. Uh, I think it's it's Ottawa versus um, Ontario or o o Oklahoma, Oklahoma or, Ottawa. or Ottawa, and we would much prefer the Oklahoma. <laughs> I, I think it's even if we beat if we beat this team yes. and we win one more, I think we get Oklahoma. Okay. Versus if we – I think if we lose this team – I don't exactly remember. I was talking to one of the players. Okay. And they're talking about it. But all, um, all I know is like I was not expecting to win this. And now at one one and like that last one wasn't particularly close. The first one was weirdly close. Like it was it's an odd one. That that I one was weird. We might have um, to see map four to see whether yeah, or not. But I'm hard so one is close. now I'll say we are on Tuscan uh, control. So we picked this one. Because no other team plays this map. <laughs> because it's terrible. <laughs> it's, I mean, every time we'll see control, it will always be Gavutu. It's, it's awful. Know. It's just a terrible map. And we've seen like, it just once. just straight up. <laughs> we've seen it once before, and it was. Because we, we're terrible at Gavutu, so we just kind of do that thing where it's like, well, we can also play... We can play Tucson as well for because Tuscan. If we uh, suck at <laughs> Gavutu... Everyone we else bring, we just do Tuscan. that. Well, we bring everyone down to our level, and we say that was a loud window sound, <laughs> and we and that's what we say, and we just say, "All right, we're in the mud, but everyone else is in here too. <laughs> we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna drag you <laughs> yeah. down with us." Um, so we'll see we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> I am. We I mean we've seen oh. us win these. I like I don't want to say that like we were. Just like we lose every single Gavudu. we're actually pretty good. Like, it's it's the problem is control is an awful game mode. Yes, and it should be removed from competitive play. Deathmatch, team deathmatch, please. Like CCL higher. Honestly, us. that would be that would be more fun because there's already the life economy. If you just want to do like first team to thirty kills, yeah, like that would be awesome. And even pick like, it on bigger maps too. Like get rid of get rid of all the control point crap. We don't care. Just <laughs> like. Just go with the life economy. That that would be fun. Instead, we have this garbage. <laughs> uh, I remember in the first opening weeks of the the CCL, there were only two modes. Yes. Only hardpoint and S and D. And I don't know if I like that more or less than having control. I would. I mean, there was a lot of hardpoint because I think it was like S and D hardpoint, or it's like hardpoint hard S and D hardpoint hard point, S and D hardpoint, hard something like that. Yeah. Uh, and I yeah. like S and D being. Got second and fifth, I think, mm -hmm. and then like, I like the fact that there is a third game mode. I yeah. just wish it wasn't terrible. <laughs> I don't. It's it, kind it of my. It hasn't always been control in every single game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it rotates game to game. What was that? There was like a weird one in uh, Cold War. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I, trying to think. I forget what there was like a really a really strange. Just like I want to say, it was unique. Like it was unique to Cold yeah. War or unique to Black Ops. Um, so I want to just was quick butt in here and apologize to SIU Edwardson. We got we grabbed the Carbondale one by accident, um, so we did get that remedied. It, we, were, we were showing the wrong SIU on stream. Okay. We apologize. We do apologize. I was wondering that that mascot was very. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the mascot, right? Okay. The, the, God just the the voice of God just nodded yes. Uh, I'm assuming that the SIU Edwardsville is actually less furry because that was a very furry mascot is what I would say. I was <laughs> not gonna comment on that, but uh, yes, yes, uh, and <laughs> like listen, I get it. We're also wolves, but, but like, <laughs> like we didn't add the uh, the extra it, it flavor like a mane if you will. almost yeah. Uh, so hopefully I'm not just insulting more. <laughs> oh, uh, that's exactly Southern Illinois what we're University, doing. and it, like if that's just all of their mascots. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here we are into game number three. Here, e whoever wins this is going to go to match point overall. Oh yeah, and I see S I U E Cougars. It's a very sleek looking logo here as Osmond gets uh, first blood. Two down here for U N M. As SIU actually here, almost just getting all of A. 
Which is what we see a lot of. Generally, yeah. Uh, B, B is definitely the harder one to get. It is yes, you, much more uh, dug in. It, this is usually one of those ones where, like, you try and stop of m as much of A as you can. You buy the 30 seconds, and actually you and M doing a good job here. Solar finding quite a few. Stopping them on two-thirds, wow. just trying to really run out the time here, U and M. Let's see what they're able to do. U and M doing really well here. Solar racking him up. Getting another Getting here. four here. Let's see if he's able to get a fifth. He needs to check his corners. Not quite able to do it. And that may be S-I-U-E. Getting this point. Looks like it might be not going to be able to touch it in time. And that's two minutes here to get point B. And that's actually a, that's not a lot of time to get point B, no. is what I'm going to say. The, um, yeah, this map or this mode has very limited time. Uh, definitely adds to the pressure. Well, what I would say is point B uh, sucks to try and attack. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> two minutes is not a lot of time to try and attack point B. Uh, because the spawns here for UNM is UNM is just like caught on the wrong side of the map right here. Uh, but again, SIU just having this like inability to get on point. Like my dudes, all four of you are there. Get on the point. Like I don't want to. I don't want to root against UNM. But like, wh what are you doing? Like it's oh, <laughs> Maddie almost getting two there. Ooh, uh, this might be good. UNM might keep them at less than a third, and I think they do. Yeah, they got to get on the point to yeah, remove need to get it. On the point here and to remove is. is UNM. And here, as I said, almost a minute already gone, and UNM stopping them from getting anything. So it's UNM in a much better defensive position, which is what SAU did not want them to do. Yeah, as SAU definitely would have gotten that third if they were just playing this more aggressively. They 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 kind of just sat defending the point. Yeah, they which is odd. Dom is here not checking the right corner. Unfortunate for him. Has two more for SIU. Three here on the point. If UNM need to collapse, one gets a long-range kill. Maybe a third going to come out here, but 48 seconds. SIU on UNM. the point. What can you do? Oh, I think that is a third maybe going down. Maybe just not enough. It is contested. No, it's not enough. As SIU just barely don't get it. They're still not on the point. UNM needs to stop this point from getting contested. And SIU just once again not on it as much as they could be here. Still being taken. That's oh. two dead. But this is about half going down. UNM. That was able to a stop that third second third. going down. But now the second third is going to be taken out here. 30 seconds remain here for SIU to get the last two thirds of this point. UNM on a good defensive pose. So a lot of grenades coming angles. out. Ooh, look at the lives remaining as well. Six versus five. We have not really been paying that much attention as Solar gets another 5v5. But 12 seconds remain. No respawns remain here for UNM. But eight Ooh. seconds, no respawns for Alpha either. UNM. Who's alive? What are you going to be able to do? They need to dislodge Oplasmid there, but they don't want to run in too aggressively. They're going to see three. Dommers is the last, last alive. alive. He needs to clutch this one out. What can He's he do? He's life. not going to oh. be able to get it as by the hair of their teeth. Here, SIU get that one. The hair of their teeth. The hair of their teeth. Well, listen, the skin of their teeth also doesn't make sense. So. That's, you know, that's very fair. The uh, eggshells of their teeth. Arms they get. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to put that in a shirt. <laughs> the eggshells of their arms. Uh, either way, UNM not playing the greatest defense. I feel like they kind of got lost there uh, in all the chaos. And here's what I'll say. Um, I'm just going to say it. I have no idea what SIU was doing on these objectives. Like, the two objectives that we've seen in a row. And SIU just, like doesn't go on <laughs> it's and like <laughs> and they are winning yes by like team deathmatch they're winning team deathmatch <laughs> but they're losing the objective and it's really weird yeah is UNM just gonna uh get point a here uh, almost as quick as they're able to I think oh, I oh think no actually wrong. SIU going to stop them uh, on this second third and get quite a few kills right back as the life economy UNM were able to rack up like six right there. Ooh, but it's sneaky here. Solar is on point B trying to get a third of that. Not able to win the gunfight with D-Day here. Ooh, but Rocky's now on clearing. the point. Looking for Ooh, something Dommers. as Domers is here. They're looking just for B. They know where D-Day is. Look for that wall bang. 
I don't think they have those in this game. They do. Yeah, small okay. bank does work. Let's oh, see. D-Day getting the stun. He knows where he is. He has the pistol. What can he do? Progress at B is UNM. Just running everyone around the map here, but a minute to go as UNM will need to get something. Dahmer's getting that flick. That was very Ooh, impressive. He sees D-Day once again. He's looking for it. He sees Gets him. He's it. able to get it. Dahmer's here. That's Four kills to his name. But UNM, 47 seconds. They do have progress on B. That is good. Here, I kind of just want Solar to go run over to A, get A. <laughs> Dahmer's on a 5 Dahmer's is holding an absolute... Dahmer's is just oh. doing it all. 15 to 16, holding his team down. D-Day oh, going down. Dahmer's, Dahmer's stopping. Or D-Day stopping Dahmer's right there here as Solar is just going to get the rest of A. And half of B already taken here by UNM. Right. A minute 40 to play with. And the life economy, 13 to 14. There's already two-thirds on B for UNM. Yeah, let's see what they're able to do. But two went down for UNM. Life economies and respawn is a big deal by now. 13 to 11, a minute 20. I think this one might just go down to Team Deathmatch. Right. This is... Well, actually, only one-third on it. So UNM, if they just get a clean, like, 4-0, they probably pick it up. If they can get Dahmer's back on that angle he had, they might be able to get this point. Yeah, let's see. But both teams know what's at stake here. And neither are playing super aggressively. A minute here remain. UNM needs to play in. Oh, but that's just... Here, everyone. Oh, Maddie did not go down to that. Let's see what he's able to do. Don't think he knows he's close now. Ooh, oh, he gets, and he gets it. That's good dislodge. Oh, but D Day is going to go down. He gets two, 12 to eight. UNM definitely needs to get the four. Let's see what he is able to do. But Rocky now kind of in their back line. flanking almost, waiting for his team to Let's see what make he's a able play. To do. 30 seconds remain. Rocket needs to do something so us. He doesn't want to show himself. Mythic on that 5x, 11 to 7. D-Day gets another 19 seconds remain. Here, two members on the point from UNM. Maddie trying to get something. Only four lives remain. 16 seconds. Dahmer's gets one. Four to nine. UNM need to clutch this one out. UNM need to Eight get a body seconds. on the point now. Oh, but that's Maddie going to go down. Three seconds. I don't think UNM are able to do it, and that's SIU going up 2-0 in this first to three. Again, winning it on the team deathmatch. Uh, I don't know if time ran out first or yeah. I think did. time ran out just barely, but that I mean that was like one versus eight at the end. So mm, right, essentially winning it on team deathmatch. Yeah, um, it, UNM was in a very good. UNM position, was in such a good position, just pulling everyone around the map, but almost. To their disadvantage, uh, SIU just kind of gave up point A at a point and said, all right, I mean, they have it. You, they, you can't pull us around the map anymore. And then just did everything on Bs. UNM go down here. They need to put up a good defense here as this is the game point to win match or game number two within the match. Ooh, Rocky knows where one is. as UNM winning them all so far. And you, Rocky, not able to get that. Ooh, Solar gets one. Solar gets his trade. As UNM, once again, doing a really good job of, of stopping A from going down. Whereas, it seems that almost everyone else's, like, theory, I would say, strategy of how to win this game, how to win this map, is give up A, play for B. Right. And, it, I mean, it works. We've seen it work. Yeah, but um, it worked for... Uh, but SIU UNM, I think, is also playing this really good game of... Just, if they're going to go hard A, we'll just fight them at A and buy as much time as we can. And then we'll go over towards B and just kind of defend there and have 30 less seconds to deal with. Right. As we already see this, instead of the, you know, two minutes or whatever that UNM had to play with, it's a minute 53. Right. Oh, and it, it is a viable, uh, again, control is not the greatest game mode. Um, and this is kind of how they, a lot of teams are forced to play. But UNM's down two in the life economy. Down three. Now Rocke looking for something. Gets one back. Ooh, UNM pick up two. Try and even it out. Ooh, okay, trying to get a flank here. Ooh. UNM probably just want it. Yep, they're on B. Ooh, D-Day just wins that flick. D-Day here, huge just carry for it. SIU. 
doing very well here. Uh, See what Damas can do. 80 seconds remain here in this match. Ooh, he sees Mythic. Oh, it just barely gets it. Solar with the assistance. Dahmer's here. UNM are down two in response. Woo. That was very close. close. Six very, HP. Very close. Ooh, his rocket goes down right there. 13 to 11. I feel like we've seen this before. Life economy so close here. 11 to 11. UNM may be looking to just win this one. They're feeling good. They got this. They've got a much better defense this time than they did on round Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Oh, it's Dahmer's. He has the sight line. He gets, gets one. one. That's the second one going down. Ooh, oh, Dahmer's playing that one a little bit quarter. more aggressive. As again, nine to nine. Dead even. Oh, That's Solar needed going down. A great head glitch there. Oh, Solar here Someone's looking. That's got so many now. grenades just coming out here as Rocky wow. gets to six to nine look at that five to nine now <laughs> 5x killing spree by solar no Solars. response here by siu unm just wait these 11 seconds out even if you trade one for one it's no oh, problem d-day last good. alive five seconds unm bring it to one to two here keep themselves alive in game number three unm doing very that was a very different UNM yes. than the previous two. Absolutely. Backs against the wall, they seem to. Uh, oh, look at that. A very good fight. Here, UNM still need to win two more in a row. Right. Uh, but that's better than three in a row. That's, uh, <laughs> that's true. They, they've got, they're going up. And looking at the uh, the KDs here, Rocket being the only one negative for UNM. Look at those streaks. UNM just went on a tear. At the end, right there. Just that five, three. Dahmer's with one. That's a little unfortunate. But three again. Solar first blood. What can't this man do? Absolutely massive. Dahmer's, oh, Dahmer's just getting turning two. Turning on here in game number three. Look at the progress on A. Oh, Already Dahmer's, half. Getting, Dahmer's third. getting two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Solar did go down there. Unfortunate. But it looks like A is just going to go right into the pockets here of UNM. Ooh. Said this before, Maddie looking for one, looking so you for two, a 5x for himself. It's UNM, Solar gets two. Where two, where was this UNM? A, two, 215 on the clock, Maddie with yeah. a pistol. Okay, okay. that's well, unfortunate. Unfortunate, okay, getting a little, a little hypey, but All look right. at the life economy. <laughs> UNM up by three here, only needing to go and pick up B. Uh, that was pretty hype. That was Maddie very gets good. one. UNM's got to keep that footing, though. Ooh, unfortunate. Three dead there by UNM. All right, life count basically back, back to, to even. even. That was that was a little odd. Not why, why are they fighting on A? A is... <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> there's U nothing. <laughs> UNM needs to take this opportunity to go... There's, there's literally nothing for either team. <laughs> and they are still fighting As on A. Okay, UNM finally, they're like, oh, right, we can, we can rotate. <laughs> I, guess, uh, I guess maybe... As uh, Rocky goes down there to D-Day. D-Day having just really good flicks here, really good on these long-range weapons. Uh, overall, we've seen this just time and time again. Here, at UNM, look at these fights. Still, Plasma gets him. that one, but uh, uh, Rocky trades it. Ooh, Ooh he Solar gets it. Solar picks up one. Great gunplay there. And UNM here on B. Ooh, <laughs> See, uh, that he was made it uh, over the ledge. Not alive. A superhero move is what I will say. Is here's UNM looking to get this point B at least a third as they have it. Look for a little bit more. It is contested. Silo gets Ooh, that one. Maddie, oh, so many kills just him. come down right there. Kill streaks. Ooh, and that does pick up one. Ten to twelve here in the life economy. UNM does have a tick and a, a tick and a tick and a half really. Uh, give or take half of B. I'm not entirely certain why no one here from SIU, again, even on defense, don't like playing the objectives. It's it's it's, it's really strange is it's, what I'm going to say. Right. If UNM is able to win these next fights and get on the point, that is Ooh, but free. Here, oh, now 9 to 11. Ooh, no kill streak comes out or gets a kill. Rocky but picks up you one. did force him over, and Rocky was able to find that. Here, UNM up a couple of kills. Not all that many, but only 30 seconds remain. Seven lives remain. Solar takes out one. Six to eight, but only 25 seconds. What's going to do? Dahmer gets a good punch right there. 
Five to six, 20 seconds. This one's gonna come down to the wire. UNM. As UNM don't actually want it to come to time. They lose if it goes to time. They need to get on the point. They need to buy a little bit more time. No response for anyone. Dahmers gets one. They've got six to seconds. They have to be here. on the point. Maddie gets one. He should be able to touch it. He will. Stops that time. Now Mythic has to do something. Maddie oh, goes down. Not able to get it. Oh no, they're going to try and be on the point. Rocky needs to clutch this one out. 2v2. Solar's the last alive. And no! Oh. SIU's going to win game number three here, taking it to match point. That oh man. That was so close to being clutch. It was you can oh. see that uh Mythic there with just a good high ground. And unfortunate there, just like five more seconds, one more respawn, and that I think would have gone over into the pockets of UNM. It UNM was, yeah. down here in this match, two versus or two to one. Right. It was a very that was a very close map. Yes. UNM kind of turned on in the uh, the second half there. Unfortunate that we weren't like that the whole match, but that happens. Yeah. Uh, teams uh, are like what that. I'm what I'm excited for is. UNM had the second half, and now going into another game, if UNM keeps that up, I I believe. Uh, I believe, yeah, I believe there. As we are going to go into a little a little bit of a bug, a little. Uh, we are working on it. Um, I'm not in control of my <laughs> game. It seems. Uh, uh just join off Domers. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm super excited for this next one. It looks like we're going to go on to. I don't think it's Berlin Search and Destroy. That's. I don't think they're allowed to play the same map, and I don't think oh it's well, Search and Destroy. Shouldn't it be Hardpoint? It should be Hardpoint. It should point. be Hardpoint. So I'm assuming that's going to change. Uh, I assume. Um, who is in charge of I, this I don't know who's in charge of that. I think it's um, Dummers. Either way, uh, UNM came out of the... Uh, are they going to be pressed if we play one more map? Oh, that's that's for CD, C, uh, CDL. Uh, I have I have no idea. It is eight twenty six. Um, we did start late, um, is what I will say. And uh, I have absolutely no idea if um. It was it best of three. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't. It be. should be a best of five. Yeah. Um, There's some uh, GLHF. Uh, uh, what is it? Product. Best of three. Oh, that was. Oh. It was only a best of three. No, no it hasn't. It's, it's been, been a best, best of five. five the entire time. Okay. Yeah, right. Yes. They've only won two. Yes. <laughs> okay, the production just tried to confuse us. Bamboo uh, there they, us. they fixed it. There Berlin we go. Hardpoint. Yes, going to Berlin Hardpoint. We've... I actually don't know if we've seen this. I No, we've seen it... W well, I, I'm sure we I have we've seen only it? seen it like once at the very beginning of, this, of the uh, season. But here, UNM backs against the wall need to win the next two. We need to see them win. I think if they win this, we already saw us, like, demolish SIU right. on Search and Destroy. So I'm not worried about game number five. Uh, I am a little bit more worried about this hard point, especially now the good things uh, that I will want to point towards for UNM to win this. Um, we haven't really been winning in the life economy. Doesn't matter right. on this map mode. Uh, SIU doesn't like touching the points. <laughs> That's good for us. <laughs> and, and this map, I can't speak to it entirely, but I believe has a lot more indoor points. Yes. And has good long ranges. Yes, which, which is good for Solar, but that's also good for D-Day. We've seen him Correct. have these really good, just like long range cross the map, just pew, gets a kill. As we are going into map number four, it's been a while since we've seen one. Right, Here are UNM's yeah. backs against the walls. Let's see what they're able to do. Everyone's all warmed up, hopefully. UNM looking to win this one. I don't know which team we are, but uh, I am pressing buttons. We are not blue. They're blue. You sure? Yes, because I think Mythic said in lobby, we want blue. Okay. Which I assume is attack first, but it could be defense first. I don't know. It's... No. I was wrong. Okay. Um, don't... Uh, I, yeah, sorry for gaslighting. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, I, a little I, bit of girl well, bossing, you know? Yeah. Uh, anyways, keeping? here, UNM uh, on defense first as Mythic has first. No, this is not. This, this is hard point. This is hard point. It's just whoever gets first. 
we got a Innistrad Crimson Val uh, just dropped off to us. So let's just uh, see what we get here. I, oh, I did it wrong. You're able to get these to like explode. So I'll, here, give me yours. Uh, yeah, I'll let you explode mine. Can, uh, get some really obnoxious uh, things going down here. Is UNM, UNM uh, not winning these gunfights? Well, you can, that's not how you do it. Um, so anyways, UNM not winning these hard points, four to 23. Uh, you can't put shiny things in front of me. <laughs> I'm a play-by-play -play caster. I'll just say whatever is in front of me. Dombers it's a problem. <laughs> 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 Anyways, here, UNM down by 35 as the next hard point does come out. Rocky Ooh, looking to get two, only flank. able to get one here as UNM are the first ones on the point. I believe this is mail room. UNM is going to be able to hold it for quite a while. It oh, is going to contest a good drop from down the ceiling. from him, like Spider-Man. Uh, the Banjo Garfield one. But I don't know why it matters. As UNM actually doing a really good job of keeping this point for themselves, trying to even it up as much as I can. I really want them to even it up and then go beyond. We saw in the last hard point that they were able to like, they were evening it up, sort of, and then still going down. So I really want UNM to just, like, get a lead, hold on to it. As yeah. Maddie, yeah, oh, Maddie almost had a great play Yeah, there, SIU but. here now back in control at this point. Maybe getting that last little scrap point here. Ooh, uh, that was unfortunate. Uh, that As was Domper's trying to dislodge a little bit right here. The points going over to SIU. Some unfortunate little plays. Uh, still decent for UNM if they are able to get these first couple of points even it up a little bit as Rocky is going to go down. They yeah, everyone yeah, knows exactly where these where points he are. Is. Maddie trades one. As SIU is going to be in control of this point. Tick, tick, tick. Everything's going in the favor of SIU on these hard points so far. Let's see what you know he's able to do. Waiting for his team. Oh, yep. Yeah, able to find him there. Yeah, again, UNM getting these points but not able to even it up and not able to take the lead. Wall bags. As two members here, Maddie and Rocky, looking for one. Maddie goes in trying to get that. No, Mythic gets both of them. Ooh, unfortunate. And maybe this entire point, I think, just went into the pockets of SIU. Still 10, point, 10 seconds do remain as the next one is going to spawn in soon. I believe this one is trains or rail yard. Uh, and, you know, I'm a big fan of trains. Hopefully, so is UNM. But unfortunately, Illinois, home of Chicago, uh, more of a fan than we are. Right, they do have more trains. Yes. But UNM need to find an answer here. They are losing these gunfights that they should be winning. It, Absolutely. Yeah. UNM backs against the wall, need to do Getting something. Two. Maddie and Solar get to. This train yard is the harder one to dislodge. So UNM want to get in here by just as much time as they can. D Day does, does go down. Dahmer's only able to pick up one, though. I was able to get the call, though, the two more. Yeah. But no one's here on the point. Getting one. SIU doubling the points here of S of UNM so far. UNM definitely wants to do something. Mythic does go down. Rocky look for something. He gets another. Gets two. Look for a third. Oh, he needs to I check. I think he's corner. behind. What? Oh, I just I, died. What? Okay, Rocky does get the third. <laughs> I, that that one was a little odd. Uh, ooh, Rocky looked for a fifth. Actually, he's going to go down. As that's a lot of time bought. U and M was able to take about 20 seconds off of that lead. Is Solar here looking for something? Mythic on the other side of that garbage pile. He is getting seen by Solar. Solar's going to pick that one up. But this is such an open map right now. This hard point needs to be contested. U and M down by 50 seconds. Let's see what they're going to be able to do. It looks like no one wants to step into this death zone. Yeah, UNM needs to get as many of these points as possible so that they're not pressed later on. Absolutely. 100 to 120 to 75, I'm not super worried about. Once you start getting into the 60 uh, seconds or 60 points above, that's when it gets really hard because each point is a second. And that means once it's more than 60, that's a more than entire hard point beat separates these two teams. Right. So that's really where you start getting worried. The other time that you start getting worried is when... Uh, the 200 point is reached because at that point it's super easy to scrap point your way to victory. So UNM need to just have a really good control point here. They need to just 
buckle down, get an entire control point into their pockets, and even this one up. It is unfortunate that SAU now has basically con map control on yeah, these points. Absolutely. Really nothing here that UNM's able, UNM able to do is four go down right there. Solar the points good doubled there. once again. Even worse, Solar just not winning that flick. He was looking for it, not quite able to get it. Grenade comes out. Dahmer's not going to find anything Getting here. 76 bad. to 160 and counting for SIU. Ooh, UNM's got to find something here. Oh, they're getting caught out in the open. We're able to do UNM. These points, they're just... Here's one thing I will say. Maybe they've been tuning in uh, as I've been screaming at them for not <laughs> being on points. They've been on the points. Right, uh, yeah. What can I say? Um, as it, here, yeah. UNM just kind of looking to give up this entire point over. Now 176, 110 points ahead SIU over UNM as UNM needs to really dig deep. They need to do something here. This, yeah, this point is on their side of the map now. They've got to find an answer. Absolutely. It's got to be fast. They're here, rapidly UNM approaching 200. are on this point, 200, almost a just gotten here by SIU as UNM. They want this point. Three and a half minutes do remain, so UNM has plenty of time on the round to work with as they're actually doing a really good defense of Mailroom. Right. They just have to hold these points. They cannot let SIU get anymore. Cause Absolutely. UNM needs to play this game so perfectly from here on out as Rocky trying his hardest to do that. D-Day dropping two. down from the ceiling, but Rocky knew what was going to happen. Mythic able to get that flick, but Rocky getting two on his way. Now Dahmer's going in, getting these scrap points for his team as UNM seems to have stopped SIU in their tracks. It, very good, closing the gap. They just need to yep. keep this up. 100 to 200, give or take, as UNM looking to just even this score up as much as they can. They get the next three points entirely, they do just win. So Ooh. that is what we want to see, as Rocky just on this point, Silo is seen. But let's see what that's going to mean. He's going to go in, and Solar. Ooh, not checking the those corners. At, looking at the wrong corner, unfortunate. That does happen, as SIU is going to be in control at this point for just a little bit longer. Dahmer's playing slow. 200 points, UNM Ooh, playing but his team's with fire, here to help as UNM are back on this point. It's going back and forth, back and forth, flipping and flopping like a fish. One thing I'd like to point out <laughs> Yes, thank you, Dieter. Like I, 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 was, I was looking for something, and I really didn't want to be like, I, I was trying to think of something, and I really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, I've noticed here that uh, most of UNN is using an AR for this long-range map, which is definitely, I don't know if that's Ooh, Solar gets three. There here as UNM back on train yards trying to keep this one all for themselves but it's going to go a little bit into SIU 25 seconds for them this needs to be stopped here by UNM even just no points is better than some points here over for SIU they are so close to going down here in this game number four and we want to see a game number five Dahmer's hiding under the train car yeah Dahmer's Ooh. trying here Let's see what they're able to do. It's just so many kills, but now two from SIU. They won't win it outright here. Oh, but that might be more points, more time bought for UNM. UNM doing such a good job of scrapping it out here Ooh, in the last that. minute, in this last minute or so of game time. They're rotating early. They're playing so well, but there's so little time that they have. What are they going to be able to do? They need to play this this one so impeccably, and this one is one of the hardest to play perfect. They, they might just opt to try and play defense here. Dahmer gets the multi-kill and immediately goes down. Yeah, UNM just maybe just plays defense as much as they can right here. 40 to 40 here into the pockets Rocky of SIU. Two. 10 seconds here, 30 seconds on the point. UNM trying to play this as well as they can, and they're doing a hell of a job, I have to say. They, yeah, they, oh, they've got to get them off the no. point here. 
Ooh, four seconds, UNM need to at least contest. What are they going to be able to do? Five seconds here, they need to do something. 10 seconds remain on the point. UNM getting these scrap points. I have to imagine it's being contested as well. D-Day trying to get something. He's able to get it. But Solar's contesting as much as he can. Who's going to win it? And it's going to be D-Day. And everyone's going to rotate over SIUE. Is going to pick up that game. Is going to pick up the match in a heartbreaking 3-1 to one victory. Very, very hard fought. Both teams very even and I think what kind of won it in the end was SIU finally getting those points staying on the point uh, and fighting quite frankly on the point yes. rather than around it yeah unfortunate that uh, UNM went down right here and uh, we will uh, be we will be hosting uh, the next CCL stream, CCL Bravo, us versus the Louisiana team that I was talking about earlier, the uh, uh, Nichols, Nichols uh, University. Uh, GG's there to Southern uh, Illinois. University Univ Edwardson. Yes, University Ed Edwardson. Sorry about that again. Uh, yeah, sorry. Also, I just kind of forgot your name a bunch of times, but uh, Ford, get the cursor off the screen. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, stay right where you are. We will be right back. Well, we won't be right back. We're throwing it over to the COD uh, CCL. College. Are we, uh, is this our, unless we stream, I, I believe we'll be back on Wednesday. We'll be back on Wednesday. Um, I'm not doing anything. Are you doing anything? I don't think so. Ford, are you going to be here Wednesday? Okay. We'll, we'll stream on Wednesday. Uh, if I think if UNM wins, or if UNM loses the next game, I think we're out. That is our season. Unfortunately, we will uh, be in Top, top 64, still incredibly good, but so UNM needs to win this next one to stay alive, if my math is correct. Right. Uh, uh, we don't exactly know how all these systems yes. work, but um, we're doing our best. I assume that if you lose two in, in a group of four where everyone plays one, I assume you're out. Yeah, it would uh, make because sense. Because then two people are ahead of you, and it's very difficult to be in the top two if two people are ahead of you. <laughs> uh, just, you know. Just saying. But yeah. either way, thank you all for watching. Uh, as always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to all of our social media. We are starting up a TikTok, uh, so uh, follow us there, you Zoomers. I've been Dieter. That's Luke. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Have a good night.